Yo, Fusion here, back with another video. Uh, we're reacting to um, something new today. Um, we got the ESPN NBA Today cast um, talking about the Celtics. And sorry if my voice does sound a little weird. Um, I th think I just have a cold. I just tested negative for COVID, but I mean, them shits don't be telling the truth sometimes. So, uh, yes, let's go ahead and get started. The Celtics. The Celtics, they've been struggling mm. a little bit lately, Janae. They've dropped three straight at home after last night's game against the Pacers. We're going to take you there now. It just, it hasn't been pretty. They were rolling early, and it's kind of come to a screeching halt. You can see the Celtics, Jason Tatum there. We're picking this up in the second quarter. The Celtics down 27 at this point. And um, so the Celtics, they shouldn't be losing to the Pacers. I feel like... It um, one thing that the Celtics has always had is a, a deep lineup. Uh, they have a really good uh, team from top to bottom, as well as their two guards. They play uh, they play great defense. Um, both Jason Tatum as well as a Jalen Green, and all, I mean Jalen Green, um, Jalen Brown. And also Marcus Smart. So they have a great defensive core as well as a great bench. So I'm not exactly sure what is the problem. Uh, but they have a wild like to really fix it. Uh, they are in the, in, uh, the second seat right now. It really doesn't matter. And the booze, they were coming out in Boston. <clears throat> Y'all saw the fake all star. <laughs> so the Celtics, they trailed by 28 at the half today, but Jason Tatum, they, he did get him back in it a little bit. Yeah, if you think about it, okay, they're losing, but those, their Ooh. stars are producing. And what? Get off me, bro. That was nasty. Right handed dunk. He's been averaging dunk that bitch ass. But they have not translated to wins. Same numbers for uh, Jalen Brown. So you just sort of wonder what's going wrong for them. Their offense is just a little bit more disjointed than usual. Well, Tatum had 15 in the third. Gotta guard him, y'all. Fourth quarter, Celtics down 10. Tatum hits the three to cut the lead to single digits. He would finish, as you mentioned, with 41 points. Chip. There you go, that part. I mean, I think these guys are so good that they're gonna get their numbers, but they don't want to. They don't want to settle into, um, you know, one Bang. one play. But that boy got that patience, strap on him for real. On them. Mm -mm. And you can't sleep on that guy either. You cannot sleep on Tyrese Halliburton. He had 33 points, eight assists. The Pacers, they would go on to win this one, 117-112. Take a listen to Jason Tatum after the game. We just got to regroup. We got to get back to, we got to learn how to. Um. So I did watch a bit of that game, and it, it really just looks like that they are not really taking like, their time. As far as offensively, uh, they have a lot of weapons. They have a strong, strong, um, strong guards as well. Um, people who can score, um, slashers. So they have an overall good team. I just think that they need to slow down, um, take their time, um, make that extra pass every so often, as well as have more of a. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's much like to worry about. Really, they're still playing well. They're hitting shots um it's just some it's just some losses how to win again you know i think it's not as simple as that but you know we gotta get back to having fun you know basketball is supposed to be fun it's supposed to be loose you know it's supposed to be competitive but we just having a tough stretch you know i've had a tough stretch every year since i've been in the nba and this is no different but you know we got we gotta figure it out we gotta regroup we gotta get back on track, um, essentially. All right, we don't want to be too much of a prisoner of the moment here. The Celtics, though, they rolled through their first 26. Yeah, y'all were just saying how how trash like they are, but they are playing well. The first 26 games, 21 and five, excellent basketball, excellent um, offensively and on the defensive side. I don't think there's much to worry about games going a league best 21 and 5 with an offensive efficiency of almost 120 and that was on pace to be the best in at least 25 seasons but since then they've lost five of six their offense has just cratered to last 
in the league, and that's during this stretch. So, Perk, give me a diagnosis here. These are your guys. What's going on in Boston? Selfish basketball. Selfish ba basketball, no sense of urgency. They started off the season, and all, they looked like a team. They looked like the best team in basketball. And then all of a sudden, you know, you start hearing the praise of Jason Tatum being the MVP front runner. You start to hear the praise of Jalen Brown, you know, uh, emerges of being a, uh, uh, in the same conversation as, uh, as all the other young superstars. And all of a sudden, they stop playing agenda-free basketball and start worrying about their individual goals. And now this is why you see the Celtics offense begin to come stagnant. You don't see guys making the extra pass or the hockey assist, the pass that's going to lead to the bucket. You don't see the other role players being involved. Last night, I looked at their shot chart, and Jason Tatum, 20-plus shot attempts. Jalen Brown, 20-plus shot attempts. The other, the other, other the uh, only other player that had 10-plus uh, shot attempts was Malcolm Brogdon. Like, you're not going to win that way. And so when you come out with your hidden agendas, you're gonna, it's going to result in losses. And so the fans booed them because they don't see the sense of, sense of urgency, especially on the defensive end. Brian, what are you seeing here? Yeah, so you're right, Malika. Their offense hasn't been the same. You know, they, they kind of got away with it at the end of their West Coast. I really like Malika's when they uh, got that win over the Lakers. This she really, nice. by all rights, should be a six-game losing streak. Mm. And I think when they came home to a seven-game homestand, which is what they're on right now, I think they definitely dropped their guard. They didn't come off that road trip thinking that... That I do agree with. Um, usually when teams are on such a high... Um, on, um, I'm on such a high as far as winning um, 21 out of 26 games, um, playing well offensively and defensively. Um, it will cause them to really look look back and be like, well, we're not going to lose. So I think that they just need to slow down, regroup, um, and there's not really much to really worry about with this, with like the Celtics team. Uh, they've been playing well. They shouldn't have lost to the Magic. Uh, they shouldn't have lost to the Pacers. But these two teams are solid teams, um, championship uh, like contender teams that they lost to. But these three, again, like the Pacers are a solid team, but I don't think they should have lost to them. So, I don't know, man. It's it's early. Again, I don't think the Celtics really have much to worry about. So, I sort of think that I sort of think that they're blowing it out of proportion. That they had to tighten up. They came off that road trip and relaxed. And so that is not something that you want to see from a championship level team. Now, I also will point out a couple of things. One, all of their guys were shooting like the career best numbers down the line, whether it was from the foul line, mm. the three-point line. Some of this was they just cooled off a little bit, which is natural. They were playing the number one offense in the history of the NBA. Right. So some of it's coming back. The other thing is, in the second half last night, they did look more like themselves. And that could be the beginning of some momentum. And the one thing they've got going for them, they got a huge game on Sunday. Uh, it, to me, it's the, it's the centerpiece game of the day. Mm. They should not have a problem getting up for that one with Giannis coming in for the premier Christmas Day game. So I will look forward to them having a bounce back weekend. Well, they um, yes, that's pretty much everything. Um, I did. I am going to do some like predictions on on the Christmas Day games uh, that will drop on Saturday, so make sure you guys are subscribed to that. And uh, tell me what you guys think, man. Um, just about the Celtics, you know. I feel like they just need to slow down, and then they'll get right, right back on, right back on track. Uh, but that's everything. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.